one, be involved. Be involved in as many organizations as you can. Is there a, ge is there a geography club? Is there a GIS group? Um, and then going to those meetings, it doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, out Michigan State, where I went, uh, had a big ge uh, geography club, and I volunteered and worked with them. I made really, really good connections that helped me out later in my career. Um, and uh, that's easy ways to get points for if you do go into the GIS profession and get your GIS certification, it's the GISP is what it's called. Um, you need to have a give back to the community part in addition to your education and your, your work experience. And that little geography club piece right there got me a lot of points for my certification, which was really helpful long term. Um, and then I would also say, you know, get to know your professors and other students that you're around. Um, I still talk to many of my professors at Michigan State and have really close connections with them. And a lot of other students that went through the program with me, including the masters and the doctoral students, uh, try to get to know them as much as possible because you never know when it's gonna come back around and, and, and make that connect. Oh, hey, this person is working on this project or they're working at this community that I'm going after. And before you know it, you start talking, it's gonna help you out in the long term. Um, Again, and get involved in as many groups as possible. Um, build a LinkedIn profile and keep it up to date with anything you do, any kind of volunteering, any kind of groups you're involved with, uh, any of your activities or your experience that you have. Put it all in there, have a nice formal picture, a presentable picture. Because uh, whenever I'm applying, uh, I have jobs out there and I have a lot of people, I have hundreds of people apply for positions that I have. One of the first things I do is I, I Google them and I look at their LinkedIn profile and I see does that match their resume? Um, and see who they're connected to. Maybe I know somebody that's connected to those people and I can ask them about them. Um, and then with your LinkedIn profile, connect to as many professionals in your industry or the, whether it's environmental mapping or municipal mapping like I do, uh, connect with those people because A, it's good to know what they're working on. B, you get your name out there. And uh, so you get to learn a lot. I learned so much from just seeing what people are posting and liking and commenting on. You know, I draw a lot of inspiration from some, from some of the content that I see up there. And then promote the work that you're doing on there so that those connections that you do make can see your, your work, your story map in college or uh, a, a research paper you publish. You know, we can see all that and the more interactions that you get with other people, we interact back with you. And then don't be afraid to reach out to people. If you're applying to a position at OHM Advisors, link up with me, send me a message. Hey, Mike, I'm interested in OHM and what you guys are doing. You know, be proactive because if I'm engaging with you and I see your, your name in a list of 100 or 200 names, I'm gonna clue in on that and see and take a second look. And that's helpful for when you want to get an internship or a job or whatnot. Um, I mentioned resumes. Get a good resume. I can tell you how many times I've seen typos in resumes and just a poor design and layout of it. Um, and if you're in the GIS world, ArcGIS is what we do. You can, I've seen so many different spellings and capitals and non-capitals of ArcGIS. You should know that as a GIS professional. You know, it's those little steps that mean a lot. S check for grammatical errors, spelling errors. I see spelling errors and grammatical errors all the time. If you can't focus an extra hour of cleaning up a resume, how can I trust you to focus on the work that I want you to work on? So it's those little things that, that go the extra distance. Uh, on your resume, link to your LinkedIn profile, put that there. If you have a story map of all your maps and your gallery of everything that you've done, link that on there. Put a QR code on there or a bit.ly link, a short link, so that we can dive deeper. If I see those things, I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna scan it, I'm gonna go looking at that and that gives me more engaged on your profile or, or your application. Um, and then, uh, you know, in, here in Michigan, and really everywhere, uh, there's a lot of GIS organizations and groups. So here in Michigan, we have the State of Michigan GIS uh, group that meets four or five times a year. Uh, go to those meetings, listen to what's being presented, interact, comment, hey, I'm looking for an internship, or I'm looking for, I'm gonna be graduating here in May, anybody have any positions? If you go to those meetings, that's show, showing that you're proactive and that you care for what you're doing. Uh, in addition to the state meetings, we have two conferences. Imagine in the spring, my camp in the fall. Try to attend those or participate in those if you can. Show off your work. Uh, the students that go and present and show off, 
usually end up getting positions and jobs because they make those connections and people are interested in what they're doing. Uh, here locally in the Detroit area, we have SEMCOG, our, our regional planning organization. They have a GIS user group that also meets four to five times a year. Go to those meetings. Oakland County, which is a county here in Southeast Michigan, they have a GIS user group. Their students always go to those too. Try to go to those meetings and be proactive. We have GIS day, big event, big meetings and conference that we kind of show everything off. Students come in, professionals come in. Go to those things. Talk and, and don't just go in there and sit in the back and then leave. Go around, introduce yourself, ask questions about what you're doing, and then hand your resume over. Um, that's going to go a lot farther um, in your search for a position. You know, again, get involved and be proactive and get your name out there. That's the only way you're going to be snatched up faster than, than the others. Thank you.